everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be unboxing another native figure. In this box I have the um, super super cute Lilith Bacon illustrated by Asanagi. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we'll go ahead and start with her postcard first. Oh my gosh, it's very cute. <laughs> I feel like it may need to be censored a little bit, but there is the postcard right there. She is super, super cute. I don't know, because I'm not going to be casting her off, obviously, but I don't know if I need to, like, make sure that I, um, I don't know if I need to really, like, censor this or not. Hopefully YouTube won't get mad, but we'll see. <laughs> but like I said, she, I won't be casting her off, so, yeah. Here is the box. Um, right off the bat, I will say I absolutely love the box design so we will definitely um go over that a bit more Alrighty. so this figure is um manufactured by frog i have a few other figures by frog i think their figures are quite good so i'm not too worried other than the fact that i was reading her my figure collection page and somebody had a few things to say about her sculpt being a little bit messy that there was some uh seam lines that were kind of harsh and that there was um quite a bit of a paint transfer issue with this figure so we will just have to um open her up and see but the box itself is very cute i love the design i love how colorful and um just super cutesy it is the little um stars and the triangles and you got some um, it, they look like little sprinkles, which I think is really adorable. Um, and I just love all the colors. And on the side, there is a silhouette of the figure itself. On the back, you have your typical um, warnings and whatnot. And then on the other side, again, just a silhouette of the figure. All right, so right off the bat, um, just upon taking her out of the box, um, she does smell heavily of plastic, so... There's that. We do have um, a little instruction manual as well. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need the instruction manual, but I'll leave it out just in case. I'm not sure, because I am gonna be leaving her cast on, so I don't really know if I'll need the instructions or not, but we shall see. All right, so here is her base. It's just a plain black base. I was hoping it might be a little bit more exciting, like a lawn or a grass or a track field, something like that, considering she is a cheerleader. But, you know, it is what it is. And holy jamoli, she's huge. Oh my goodness, she's like so big. All right, so there, there she is covering her crotch. But oh my goodness, she is, she's gorgeous though. She is wrapped in a lot of plastic. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll just um, do my best. So her twin tails do not come attached. So let's go ahead and take those out and set them to the side for now. The hair sculpt on this figure, A plus. It looks very nice. Not a ton of shading, but um, lots of hair strands. They look awesome. I don't really know if the camera will pick it up, but um, it does have a pearlescent sheen, which I think is really pretty. So I do like that. Um, but on the My Figure Collection page, I did see that the, um, the hair seems to be a little bit of the problem when it comes to paint transfer for this figure so uh i'll be i'll be careful when i am putting her hair in people were also complaining about her um underwear because it's like 
to cast her off on her lower half, it's like a another piece. So you have to like take it, you have to take the underwear piece off and then you put on her like crotch piece. I don't really know. Um, so that's, that's that, I guess. People were complaining about that and how they don't like that, which I can understand that, but I don't, I'm not really like too picky about that because I won't be casting her off. So that doesn't really matter to me. This plastic, I will say, is quite difficult to get off. It is all sorts of just, wow, yeah. So I don't really, I'm not sure how, oh, there we go. Okay, That's a, that should be a little bit easier. Um, so her upper torso part does pull off of her lower body. And I do believe her head comes off too, but ooh, I hate having to do that because it always scares the crap out of me. And then go ahead and pull that off. So it's actually her neck that comes off. Um, so her whole head and neck come off. And then her, I see what they're saying with the seam lines. So very obvious seam lines at the um, shoulders and at each side of her top. So yeah, I can understand that. That is a little bit annoying, but um, ultimately I don't think it will be too noticeable while you're looking at the figure. But God, her um, head is a little bit difficult to get back on. It doesn't, doesn't want to sit flush quite um, quite well. This figure is, it's quite interesting how they've done this. And yes, there already is a little bit of paint transferring down there on her lower back where my finger is from her skirt, I believe. But it, it seems like, so you just completely take her shirt and her chest off in order to put on her other shirt with her exposed breast. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I can definitely understand where people are coming from with this figure. It is constructed quite oddly. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it is pretty interesting though, I will say. Because like her back, the back part of her shirt also like slots into her back. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty weird, honestly. I've never, I've never seen a figure um, constructed like this. So that's, it. it's interesting for sure. I kind of hate it. So I can understand why people are a little upset in regards to that. And her head just, it does not want, it doesn't want to slot in all the way. So it leaves like, it leaves a gap right there by her neck where her shirt and her head connect. So I don't know. I mean, paint transfer is bound to happen. So I'm not um, like too worried about it at the moment. Um, but yeah, she's definitely interesting in terms of her, um, in terms of her construction. But holy crap, she is, she's gorgeous. She is absolutely stunning. I love her. Her face is super cute too. And I love her little peace signs. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna complain too much, honestly. She's freaking huge too. She slots down pretty easily onto her base. Um, I guess I'll just try and figure out how her little uh, twin tails go in because I'm not too sure on that one. I think I'll actually probably, I wonder if I have to have her head on while I put her twin tails in. So each twin tail has like the peg to put the twin tail on is a different shape for each side. So it's pretty easy to um, figure out which side goes where. 
They are a little bit hard to get in though. So um, just be careful and take your time with that. But yeah, definitely already getting a bit of um, paint transfer. So that's a little worrisome. I don't think I will get in trouble for this, but just in case, you know. She is, yeah, oh my goodness, she's hefty. Okay, so in this little black bag is her um, cast off bottom part option. So I just want to see how it looks. It's not terrible, actually. It looks pretty, um, it's pretty detailed for an anime figure. Um, considering they usually just put a shoop, slit, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. I won't be, I won't be using that, but for those who care, it, I think it looks pretty decent. But I will be using, oh, actually, yeah, I want to see her cast off top part because I might use that. They are big. They are very big. <laughs> um, they look okay, I guess. I feel like the um, the nips could have been executed a little better. They're very pale and have absolutely like almost no color. So that's that. I think, yeah, I definitely think that could have done, been done a little bit better though. And then we have her lovely little pom-poms. Her pom-poms are cute, though I do wish that they would have, um, I wish they would have done her pom-poms with the same like pearlescent sheen as her um, hair. Cause I think that would have been really cute. So like just one piece on the pom-pom disconnects and then you put her hand inside of it and you clip it back together. Um, I'm not sure which hand this is supposed to go on. I don't really know. Not sure about this side either. Let's take a look at directions. All right, so that is what it looks like with the pom-pom on. And then I'll go ahead and show you in the front. So um, there's a little divot right there where her toe kind of slots in. And then you push this down and it sits flatly on her arm. Um, it was a little bit challenge challenging to get on because her um, twin tail is in the way. And I was a little worried. I didn't want to accidentally scrape it or anything. But yes, yeah, so that's what that looks like with the pom-pom on. I think I will probably display her with just one pom-pom because I do quite like her little peace signs. I think they're very cute. So as far as I know, you just quite literally put the pom-pom on like so. So there's like, if you can see in there, it's the hand part and then her two fingers go there. So I'm pretty sure you quite literally just go like that and then you um, close it over top. Let me see if I can do this correctly. Voila, just like that. And then it's kind of, she just has her hand in there. And then that's what she looks like with both pom-poms. I think it's very cute. I like it. But like I said, I will not be displaying her with both pom-poms because I don't want her with both pom-poms. I just want her with one pom-pom because -pom, I think that's cuter. I like to um, have her peace signs out because I think it looks nice. But yeah, I don't know. She's really cute. I like her quite a lot. Um, I do agree with what a few people were saying on my figure collection about um, a few of the gripes that they had with this figure specifically and her construction. I definitely agree with those few things. But other than that, I think she is lovely. And I think she is just absolutely stunning. And if you are an Asanagi lover, 100% recommend this figure. I'm sure she's going to become quite expensive on the aftermarket. So if you can, try and get your hands on her ASAP if you want her. That way she's not too expensive. Um, I definitely will be adding some b-roll into this video as well, but I did before I, um, go want to show 
a scale comparison between two figures that I have here with me. Um, let's see here. Let me move some of these things out of the way now. All right. So this is a one fourth scale freeing figure. And this is her next to the one fourth scale freeing figure. As you can probably see, this is them flat on the desk. They're practically the same height. Um, she is slightly smaller, but she is supposed to be a one fifth scale, I want to say. So she is a pretty sizable, um, a pretty sizable one fifth scale. So I think that is quite nice. If you like big figures, she is perfect height in my opinion and honestly because of the way her pose is she doesn't take up too much space um and she's very nice I I give her a solid I give her I give her a solid With all things considered, I give her a solid 7 out of 10. And that's simply because there are a few things about this figure that I think they could have executed better. But overall, the vibe of the figure and once you get her all set up and put together is immaculate. She's great. She looks lovely. And I love Asanagi, so I'm a sucker for the Asanagi girls. What can I say? I have... um three I think this is three now yeah I have three Asanagi girls now I have um gosh what is her name I think you say it Irie it's the cowgirl I have the cowgirl Asanagi figure I have um Miss uh Kurone and now I have Miss Lilith so yeah she's a nice little addition to my Asanagi shrine um, that I will soon be <laughs> creating considering I have like <laughs> oh I don't even know like four other Asanagi figures pre-ordered right now so I definitely will be creating a shrine. I have the um, victim girls box set as well so once I get some more shelves I'm going to create a shelf purely for all of my Asanagi stuff. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe. Um, did any of you pick this figure up by chance? If you did, let me know your thoughts on her. Do you like her? Do you have the same issues as most people seem to be having with her? Um, or, you know, just tell me any figure that you've gotten recently that you have been absolutely stoked with. I would love to hear. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!